Gotta get Are you meditating? Yeah, you gotta get Are you meditating? Snack. Okay, that's cool. All right, in this episode of Tack Pack Unboxes, the July Box, I think our neighbor is making some of the wildest art in the world, and yeah. you're gonna hear a saw. So we'll do a saw count. Yeah. But you might not hear it because of these things. We'll have to see when the saw goes. Do those bars go up? Is it oh, yeah. Thing? Oh, okay. they shoot. It's like a Richter scale. It goes freaking <laughs> through the roof. Smooth right? like butter. Yeah. And speaking of butter, what better product to kick off this unboxing with than gun butter? So gun butter supplied us with a pen oiler. And if you know anything about a pen oiler, you can really use the needle tip to uh, lubricate certain areas like rails of a bolt carrier group and even rails on the inside of a handgun or something like that uh, without getting stuff everywhere so that you can intricately lubricate the essential uh, parts, the moving parts. I'm gonna come up and do a short little demonstration. So I'll pop off the protective cap and even the needle protector and I will come up and show you this bolt carrier and how I would lubricate it. Hold on one sec. All right, now I'm gonna try to do this on camera so it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you could take your pen oiler and just get it right there on a contact point on a bolt carrier. And it won't be nearly as messy as spraying this thing down with some other type of lubricant. And so you could do, you know, all the contact points. Oh, that's sorry. I'm trying to do this on camera. Hold on. Oh, trying to do it on camera. There you go. And there you go. So you can just get the parts of the bolt carrier that you want to get. I think everybody should use pen oilers more because they're really small, really convenient, and you can get exactly what you want to get uh, lubricated. Got to keep them lubricated. Yeah, you did good there. You know? Were you good at the game Operation? Surprisingly, I was. I can tell from that demo. You're very delicate. Yeah, big well, hands, big but delicate hands, hands. Big hands, <laughs> big eyes, but a yeah. nice fish. Hey, real Bad quick voice. thing about gun butter. This is a company that just emailed us out of the blue. We haven't heard of them. They emailed us and said, we love Tack Pack. We'd love to get our product in Sock Pack. out. Saw count one. So wait, hold on. Wait till the saw passes. Wait, it's like F1. Wait, <laughs> wait till the saw passes. That's a grinder. That's not a saw. Uh, we're just gonna call it the okay. saw count. Okay. We're gonna be rudimentary with our explanation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're waiting. <laughs> we need hold music. Do, 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 do. It's like my son's sound machine. Just lulls yeah. me asleep. No. <laughs> yeah. What were we even saying? Oh, the cool thing about gun butter. This company just emailed us out of the blue. We haven't heard of them. They just emailed us and said, hey, we love Tac Pack. We want to get our product in Tac Pack. And boom. We, Send us the samples. Yeah, we purchased thousands of products from them to get into your hands. So if you know of any companies or you're a company watching this video, hit us up. Pitch us your product. We love when kind of happy accidents like this happen. Yeah. You know? If you've got a product that works well and has, you know, ingenuity behind it and just makes sense, we're all ears. Yeah. You know, we're planning right now for the second quarter of 2025 and beyond. So uh, send us your referrals of places that you really like that you think would go well in the tack pack. Yeah. Uh, Gun butter, like you said, just emailed us out of the blue and we're like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Pen oilers. That's a, you can, I'm a sucker for a pen oiler. So <laughs> they must've known. They must've seen me coming a mile away. <laughs> um, all right. Next up, Timber Creek barricade stop. So like all things, if you've trained or shot, three gun, you've had to use different obstacles to use and shoot around. And a barricade stop is a really useful item. And it's in FDE. And you know, I've been saying this for about five years, eventually everything we send in the tack pack is going to be flat, dark earth or flat, dark everything. And so uh, Timber Creek has supplied us with this incredible billet um, barricade stop. And we've used it. We've tested it. It works so well and it's really stable. Love M-Lock design. Glad the world ditched uh, key mod in favor of M-Lock. And uh, this is a really nice stout unit that's not gonna fail you on the front of your rifle. Timber Creek. On the opposite side of the spectrum, lightweight, compact, and usability. Why don't you talk about the Kershaw Reverb? Yeah. Um... I'm not a big lightweight knife guy. I've had some experiences in the past with breaking, chipping, and just bending. Um, 
this is the lightest weight knife we've ever gotten. Yeah. And arguably the strongest knife we've ever and gotten. And for its size, it's really lightweight. Uh -huh. Like fully open and extended, it's a really big knife. You'll forget you have this in your pocket. Yep. Which could cause an issue. So definitely remember you have it in your pocket. But yeah, it's so light. It's insane. It's got the, the little belt clip too. That's yeah. kind of cool. And just the pocket clip itself is yeah. like really small in profile, which is really nice. But it's really rigid too. Oh, yeah. Great shape too, ergonomically speaking. You know, the little S curve. Oh. I love this thing. I'm going to bring it up to the camera. Hold on yeah. one sec. All right. So for me, a little throwback to the carbon fiber, 90s era JDM car guy. Really cool design wise and really sturdy. You know, I will usually take the blade and put it into the vise and shake it around or even hold it onto the table with it, uh, you know, fully unfolded and see because a lot of times when we test knives, the um, the hardware where the blade meets the body of the uh, handle will come loose just over through stress testing and stuff like that. And this knife actually held up really, really well, which was surprising for how cool the design is yeah. and lightweight it is and ergonomic it is. You'd think they make sacrifices with the sheer uh, size and design, but they haven't. So when we found this knife, we were like, this absolutely has to go into the tack bag. And it's not small in length, but it's super lightweight. Really, really happy with the Kershaw Reverb. Reverb XL, Reverb XL. The most requested item of tack pack, dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. But why is it red? I don't know. You know, it's, it's, I want to mix it up. Dinosaurs are usually green or brown. They got feathers. They don't got feathers. How do you know? Have you seen dinosaurs? I mean, have you seen Jurassic Park? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, gotcha. that's how they dream up dinosaurs. Yeah. I'm going to show it to you up close. Yeah. There is your red dinosaur. Compliments of the artist. Hello. On to the plus box items for the July box. The Gerber Dual Force. We've gotten so many requests for a multi-tool that's durable. This one actually comes with a sheath too. I have this in the back of my truck. In my, I have kind of a little storage compartment back there. And I actually have the Gerber Dual Force there. And the other plus box item, two totally great EDC items, the Cloud Chikro. And I have it clipped on to the side of um, that storage tray in the back of my truck. Pretty awesome stuff for the plus box, really useful. We want to put things in there that you can put to use instantaneously, right? Mm -hmm. You get them out of the box, open them, put them right to use. So that's the July plus box. You know, you got to think about sometimes if you're a standard tack pack subscriber, or even a light subscriber, you'd be missing out on all this great gear. So email us an upgrade. He, uh, he'll get that taken care of for you. Now, JR, real quick, do you want to talk about any upcoming one-off boxes? Yeah, I know sure. We kind of plug those sometimes. Sure, yeah. I mean, we're getting close to the end of the year. That means Christmas. That means the holidays. That means big gifts. So we are coming at you with our eighth, eighth wow. annual Christmas box special. It's a non-subscription box. Yeah, so the Christmas box, there's always two levels, standard and plus. The plus level has all the items in the standard level Christmas box, plus this year, plus two more items. Traditionally, only one plus item. This year, there's two plus items, and they are bangers, super high value. One's an EDC piece, one's an AR part. The EDC piece has a $130 value. Whoa. This guy... Really is excited about that one. People might start guessing though. Yeah, I, you I have, love that you item. Have a taste. <laughs> and then the AR part has a two hundred and eighty dollar value. The plus version of the Christmas box total box value six hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. We're coming in big for year eight. A lot of heat. Yeah, a lot of heat for the December season. Yeah, we're gonna melt all that snow <laughs> and melt all that snow. I, <laughs> I mean, what a lot. You saying the same thing wow. I said. <laughs> Well, that's it for the July Tack Pack Plus. Look out for your emails for upcoming one-off boxes. Yeah, yes. Definitely a Christmas box, maybe Black Friday box. Oh, yeah. Sign up for our email list at www.tackpack.com. Pay attention to social media. Lots of big announcements coming. Uh, like we just mentioned, the Christmas box, Black Friday box. Also, we're just closing out the year, the monthly's 
boxes are huge value. Yeah. New November, brands. November, December are just insane. In particular. And, and we've been selling out early. Get signed up now. Stay signed up so you don't miss out on all that good gear. He's right. And like all things, talk, talk soon. soon. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I got a little yeah. lack of those berries and cream. Kill me. Remember, that's like a 20-year-old yeah. commercial. Yeah. I'm that old. <laughs>